Video editors, listen up. Do you think you're freely deciding your own prices or could there be subconscious factors working against you to actually undervalue the services you're providing, which is causing you to leave money on the table in, I go as far as to say, most of the dealings that you're having. It's a major problem for a lot of freelancers. It was certainly a problem for me in my early days on my come up. And today we're gonna talk about how to solve for this very issue. And at the very end of the video, I'm gonna share a tried and true time-tested formula any of you can use to calculate your flat fee for any project, even if you're not a video editor. Without further ado, let's talk about pricing. First off, let's talk about a dilemma. New freelancers oftentimes are a little bit afraid of losing the client. They're not in demand. They don't have people coming back to them constantly asking for new work. So in fear of losing the client, they end up quoting them a much lower price than they probably normally would. And that just leads them to underprice their services. The concept is simple. Pricing is a tiered system and it evolves with the demand that you have. The game gets greater later. In the early days, beggars really can't be choosers. At least in your early days, are gonna be doing a lot of cheap discounted work maybe even free work. For me, this looked like starting a completely free channel called TQ9 TV. Me and my homies would pop up on different rappers in our local area and we filmed them a freestyle video or a music video. It was a fun entry into the creative game because it was completely free. It was a trade. We'll come and shoot you a music video for free. We put it on our channel. We get the stats around it. We, we get all the analytics around it, etc. But you get some exposure, etc. right? Sometimes working for free in the early days is good to build a track record, build social proof, get some connections. And a lot of those rappers and kind of connections next I made in the free space came back to me and paid me for music videos and other video services once I'd matured in my career a little bit more. The more proactive you are in this kind of hustle phase, the early stages, the quicker you get out of it. If you're only doing one project a month, it could take you years to build enough track record and social proof that you're in demand and then you can start increasing your prices. For me, it was a one year period, something like that. And in that time, I was taking kind of any project I could get my hands on. If you wanted a project, we'd find a price that worked out. I definitely didn't maximize profit, but the redeemable parts is I built a massive network. I touched a lot of projects. I must have done over a hundred projects in that one to two year period of time. What does that set you up for? Repeat business, recommendations. Also, it was a massive attention generator. Any project I went to film, anytime I was in the office editing, I was recording behind the scenes content, putting that content out onto social media as social proof to attract other clients to me. Then we get to a mid-tiered situation where people are kind of aware of us. Maybe we've got some long-term recurring clients which are paying some bills. We're making a few grand a month. We're, we're making some cash. Things are moving. And then we want to scale up. We talked recently in the last video about scaling to six figures, what that looks like, how you guys can take your three to $5,000 a month income as a you know video editor and take that to $100,000 plus per year. Increasing your prices is the turning point when you become in demand. The networking benefits here are past clients have now started coming to you and giving you repeat Business. So after the one to two year period, the hustle phase, I now got to the kind of transition, the turning point. All of a sudden I'd made connects. Graphic designers and nightclubs would hit me. Hey Jack, we've got an availability. Our videographer just canceled. Can you come to film it? People I went to school with were seeing my personal brand on social media. Hey Jack, listen, we've got a fitness program. Hey Jack, listen, we got a music video. I'm now in demand. What does that mean? I put up my prices. There was a couple clients that I didn't like working for. I just didn't. It wasn't many, but there was a couple I didn't have a good relationship with. I put my prices up. I was now in demand. So when they came back to me for more work, I just simply doubled the rate. Either you paid my new rate or I got the blessing of just, you know, saying goodbye to you. Peace out. I don't want to work with you. I got plenty of other demand over here. Now, could I do that if I wasn't in demand? Of course not. You have to get in demand to do that. All right, quickly, before we continue with the video, I just want to make sure you understand that I just dropped the VP Plus Outreach Masterclass. This is 20 episodes breaking down multiple different places that you guys can outreach to freelance video editing clients. We have two different episodes in each. Each category is split into a theme theory, where we talk about the do's, the don'ts, and that's like a notes taking episode. And episode number two is the practical, where we showcase live messages, outreach messages that worked and converted the client, outreach messages that didn't work and didn't convert the client. Things you guys should be incorporating in your own approach, things you might not be incorporating. This is four and a half hours of content, 20 episodes long. If you join Video Production Plus for $24.99 a month, you get access to this program and multiple other programs as well. Countless stuff on the way, a thousand plus digital hours assets and one-on-one -on -one calls with me. It's the most competitive offer in the entire video production scene. You should be inside. And let's get back to the video. 
now we're going to go ahead and talk about the secret formula for pricing because believe me it's much easier than a lot of you guys put it out to be step number one determine your minimum hourly rate for me on my come up this was 25 pounds an hour that was the minimum i wanted to work for number two estimate the project hours so let's say i was going to film a club i would say how many hours is this going to take me it's going to take me probably four hours of filming how long is the edit going to take probably again about five six hours right so let's go ahead and quote them 10 hours of total work time step number three times your hourly rate by the estimated amount of hours you think the job is going to take 250 pounds was what i quoted the club and that was the price that i was paid to film tyga fat joe a whole bunch of other different clubs that i filmed all the celebrity clients that i filmed etc so that's the very simple formula for pricing your work this is tried and true you can deploy this on any job a little bit of encouragement if you guys just commit to this touch a lot of projects don't look at the money in the early days just project 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 focus on the social proof the network any job you go to if you're a videographer make sure you bring someone with to film behind the scenes that's propaganda that's marketing material that you can use for social media later even if you're in the office do some cool stuff have some pictures of you on the laptop i was in people's faces all day long we've talked about visibility in the modern day portfolio episode in fact if you enjoyed this video that's a perfect kind of segue because increasing your prices is pretty damn simple but you need clients to increase your prices to go through the hustle phase to get in demand the undeniable best way in the world right now you know not an exaggeration literally the best way in the world right now to land clients is this method right here modern day portfolios right this portfolio converts like crazy so many people in my private members community video production plus are crushing it with this bad boy right here click the link have a watch i'll see you there